Hey, hi everyone, this is Vivek and welcome to yet another episode of Lead Code Weekly where we talk about the Lead Code Weekly's hardest problem because that's what we have been doing for the last few problems in this series and uh, this particular week we had this question maximum value of k points from piles uh, which is not the most unique problem I suppose because if I happen to see uh, kickstart 2020 so this first second problem of this round a was exactly the same problem I mean if you see the question n stacks you have to take p plates and the values of the stacks are given and this is exactly the same setup n piles and the piles values are given and you have to take exactly k coins so not the most unique problem lead code but anyways we will learn it because there is this one crucial concept in this problem that i want you to learn and take out for sure okay uh, this is a dp problem but it's very very interesting on how do we actually do the time cal time uh, complexity calculation okay also, if you have not liked the video, do like it up and subscribe to the channel because we are going to do more such learnings going forward. And if you are in enjoying the content that is over there on the channel, do press the subscribe button. Okay. Also, uh, we have this people's choice wherein we take up any problem that you feel I should explain or we can discuss in general in these kind of videos. So make sure that you can uh, you add the link to that particular problem in the comments. And uh, if that is voted enough by the people, we're going to take this particular, take that particular problem in the people's choice. Okay. So let's take this particular problem n piles and there are some piles values, right? And you have K number of coins to be taken. And if you have to essentially take K total number of coins from all the piles and you can take like two, if there are two piles and you have to take two coins, you can take the two from one, one from each of them, two from this right one, two from the left one. And out of them, like the sum of the values is taken and you have to get maximize that. Right. Uh, the number of piles is thousand K is up to 2000 and the sum of piles length is 2000 as well. So this, these are a few interesting cons uh, constraints and we, we need to see how we can actually go forward with this kind of a constraint. Right. Okay. So, uh, as soon as I see this particular problem that there are these piles and we need to decide how, how are we going to distribute K in these, right? Like if you decide to take X number of coins from this pile, you essentially directly know that the top X will be taken and that can be calculated very easily. It's just that how do you distribute this X into the piles? Now, this is one of the standard problems, which is similar to knapsack, right? Uh, and, uh, that's what we're going to use in this particular case that how do you distribute this K? So the knapsack style is DP of I, right? Like you are at, at a particular pile. Okay. I, and then you have distribute, you want to distribute K amount of, uh, like K, you have to take K number of coins, right? Now at I, like what we like at this particular state, we have some number of transitions. So you have Think about this the number of transitions over here is going to be the number of pile size that are there like you can take one two three so on up till this right you can take up till the pile size right you can loop over the pile size and then uh, you can essentially take at most you can take pile size number of coins and then like, let's say you choose some X number of things out of this. So you're going to transition into get cost of in the ith pile. If you take X coins, it's going to be the top X, which can be saved previously using a prefix sum plus DP of you have to take from I plus one and K minus X number of things, right? This is the transition that if you decide to take X number of things in this particular stack, you essentially get this get cost and then you have DP of I plus one comma K minus X, right? Uh, now the thing is we want to do some analysis on what will be the complexity of this DP because this is a very standard DP. I mean, there is nothing much in much of interest in this one. And if you try to think about this DP, it's like uh, at this node, at this particular thing how much you decide very standard style right we have solved similar problems or even harder problems than this on the channel so how do you kind of analyze the time complexity for this okay the rule for analyzing time complexity is uh, number of states multiplied by average number of transitions per state plus one right this is the rule for that we use average number of transitions per state how do you calculate this particular thing for this particular problem it's not as easy as it seems because n is up till thousand K is up till 2000. There is another constraint. Sum of 
फाइल साइजेस इज अप टू टू थाउजेंड राइट सम ऑफ फाइल साइजेस इज अप टू टू थाउजेंड एंड दैट्स व्हाट मेक्स द क्वेश्चन सॉल्वेबल ओके व्हाई इज दैट सो थिंक अबाउट इट इफ यू डू ए नाइव एनालिसिस यू विल सी दैट ओके स्टेट्स कैन बी दिस इज एन एंड दिस कैन बी के and the transitions can be up till like pile sizes can be 2000 so this can take up till 2000 so n into k into pile size order n into k into pile size is the worst case if you use this kind of ndp right but with this kind of constraint coming into picture some optimizations start happening why is that so okay so think about this if you have the pile sizes that are initially available uh the, like let's say there the, the number of piles are, are really high right let's say the number of piles are up till um, let's say um, let's go with some number 100 right so worst case can happen like all the rest of the like in one of them only all the 2000s are there and then there are bunch of zeros it can happen in let's say there are like 20 20 20 in each of the piles right something like this so there can be multiple kind of variations in how these pile sizes are distributed but a very simple way in which you can kind of analyze is let's think about a particular state and how much of the transitions happens at that particular state okay so i'm going to quickly write the dp over here i comma k and this goes into this requires dp of i minus i plus 1 comma k minus x plus some constant right for depending upon x loop over x what is the time complexity for this particular expression so let's try to see um let's say this is the first pile this is the second pile this is the third pile this is the fourth pile and i have i have kept all of them together side by side okay so it's like we are iterating on the first pile second pile third pile in the i and then k but think about forget about iterating on each of the piles let's say we want to like maybe iterate over each of the end item and then we just want to find like we want to find out from where till where we want to take so it's like we are iterating we are iterating over every item right okay every item of the first stack and if we decide to take like over here then all of these items needs to be taken because this is like the stack is kind of pile is opening on this side so if you take then you directly jump to this particular state okay so this is the main idea that let's say we have this kind of an stack this kind of an pile this side kind of an pile this kind of an pile and there are like some items over here this some items over here some items over here and we are globally iterating on all the items and at a particular point in time if you decide that i'm going to take this item you have to take all the items in that stack so let's say you are at a particular dp of i the total size over here is the sum of piles okay so this i can go up till sum of piles and at a particular k you have to decide you have to take k items so there are two only two choices i can either take it or not take it okay if you take it okay if you take it then all of these things get taken so you directly jump to this sum so it's going to directly transition into take or not take and it's going to directly transition into dp of i next whatever is the next stack starting point k minus the size which is fixed because if you take this item you know what is the number of items that is there similarly over here so this i can take 2000 different values k can take 2000 different values and there are only two transitions so the overall number of transitions that is there across all the states in total is actually nothing but 2000 into 2000 into 2 this is the total time complexity that is happening okay it's the sum of pile sizes into k into 2 i mean that, that doesn't really matter order pile size is into k because n over here is not really the main thing you can also see it this way that for every for every k right it's like uh, you are going to like loop over the first pile sizes to update the first k first time then all the pile sizes of second kind so it's like k into pile one size plus k into pile two size this is also in a way you can think about but i think this particular idea of thought is very very neat when you have to think about these kind of variable sizes kind of dp that how much of time constraint is happening you just align all of them side by side and then see it in that way 
that okay if you decide to take it over here you just jump to the next stack directly because you now know what you have to do or else you move one step forward right dp of i plus one comma the k this is if you don't take it so two transitions and this i can only go sum of the length which is 2000 and 2000 so this is actually order uh, sum of we have written it sum of pile size into k and uh, we are doing nothing different in this one it's the exact same number of iterations that is going to happen in this case as well and it's actually also n into k into piles uh, n into k into pile size only sum of pile size only which is something that will pass in the time limit so this is why this particular code works okay and you can actually go ahead and code this particular simple solution in a recursive way or you can go ahead and do it in this way as well which will work right um, and these are this is how the time complexity analysis works for these kind of variable size pile size. So somebody might not have coded this problem, seeing that the question's complexity is actually becoming uh, this. Where is it? N into k into this, which is but it's not. So that's the beauty of this problem. That even if you have a solution of DP and you're feeling that okay, it's gonna TLE because of these extra constraints, sometimes it might change. So think about it correctly that what is the average number of transitions that is happening on actual number of states that will get visited will every state get visited it's very difficult to analyze the problem in this kind of a framework that's why we kind of shifted the framework in aligning every pile in a like linear manner and then using that so this is a way in which you can think about these, these kind of problems and that's the main solution now the dp is essentially pretty easy i mean you can write it directly and uh, solve the problem uh, i think you will get enough discussion posts as well if you want to look into the dp but i think this is a very standard knapsack dp uh, the level of problems that we take on this channel is already like beyond the level of just solving a knapsack problem so i hope you guys can solve that if not let me know in the comments that this is becoming too difficult maybe i will explain these things in future videos as well but that's all for today uh, do like and subscribe to the channel uh, liking does help me to kind of be motivated to create more such videos and subscribe subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you are notified about every such content that we create because uh, these contents are going to help you to learn better cp i hope if you are at the correct level and uh, we will meet up in the next video where we talk about more such interesting problem in the next series of code and that's all for today uh, thank you for joining in and see you in the next video bye, -bye.